Right now, the next thing to do is the pause. Um, I've started the ball rolling here, but I really want to put the pause in before we complete this area. So let me just start the ball rolling. And once again, you can leave me to it because it's a lot of fill up work again. And fill up, great if you could see it, wouldn't it? There we are. And once again, as, as with the fur, you make it nice and solid. You, you don't want to leave any area uncovered when you put the white in. Anyway, now I've got that and that one to do. There is some dark colour going to creep in here. Now, what I would do with that is, as I did before, put some grey in. And I'll use the um, 233, I think, here. So the white will come down as far as there and pick up on the other side of that. And that darker area means I can pick up over here with the darker colour. OK, so leave that with me. And I'll fill it in. Now we need to get the contrast here. This is the shadow. And this can shape the paw too. There we have the shadow coming around here and onto there. You'll see what I mean better when I do this one. Now this one has got a she has got an area here which is like a knuckle. Now that's gonna be fun. foot again same as that one with a shadow running underneath it and all the way up here we're in shadow and this is shadow too and that comes in and kind of stops about there so we've got the very strong white here then we come into the pore there. Now with the shadow here. Okay, well let's build that up a bit more with the, the 270. That was 233, 270. A uh, little bit of pink. some ivory on but we'll have some ivory on the white now as well and then 189 uh, 189 is where we want this knuckle to be a little more prominent put that in there and then a little bit more and then I'll blend it Blend it using the ivory colour shaper. Uh, we want plenty of colour already on there. It's quite um, endearing how this foot is slightly cocked. And I'm just looking at that again. We've got some oh, quite right there. Now, let's, um, so that I know where I am, I'm just going to rub out the surface pasta which I put there. So that now gives us an edge. I'm going to put some grass in here too so that may well alter but at least we, we can start the ball rolling. And let's make this a little darker. 2, 
three three. And we've also got some claws in here. Which is such a furry cat that you don't see very much of the, the claw. It's covered with fur. This is going to be grass here, so it's all going to water. Now that's quite dark under there, so we need to have that a little stronger. And um, we'll just use the um, stick with with the ivory color shape for the time being until we now this time I'm going to um, use the color shaper to try to retain that fur in, in the direction once I put the other colors on the lighter colors on white I'll be able to make a better job of it a little bit more detail in there. I think I'll just make sure that that's still not giving me the knuckle that I want. So I'm going to be a bit more forceful with it. That's better. And then we'll some white in so that we are working in the direction of the fur and what we may have to do is to add more dark in a little while we'll just see how we we get on with that but see see how it works i think we need some ochre in here too this is um some of the markings that's on the animal a little bit more furry look I think there and just a spot more strength great now that's that's got it that's got it so what I've got to do now is let's go over it once again making sure that I've got the right tone I think as I said what I think I might have to do is still put some more depth in and it's a good idea let me do it a little bit to show you how because I'm going to work off the camera in a minute but you'll need to see how I did this I do this a little bit blend it in And when the light goes back in, and they will do, we can make it a bit more obvious. Now, 
even though I'm putting white on there, that white will still be affected by the grey underneath. So you're never going to get it white again. Whereas here, well, because if we haven't put any of the colour on, it's going to be pristine. Are oh, you with me? Anyway, I'll work a little bit more on that, but you see how it's coming along. <laughs> 